Hi and welcome back. Bunny food is bought and I now have time to look at my new toy. Um, I've been playing with other colors. So I've been coloring around. Um, so this is the Atiza set. 24 colors. I really didn't think I needed more than that. And this was the one that was on sale. And I have to say I'm quite pleased with how many single pigment colors are in here. That is uh, that's quite good. I'm happy to find an ultramarine and a thalo blue in here. The Prussian blue they mixed in with PV23. It's like the quash. It's a really weird mix. Um, and yeah, there's a couple of extra blues, some greens and stuff. But that's okay. Um, let's have a look. And, uh, those are good sized tubes. It's maybe not much if you're more or less a professional painter and you use big canvases and stuff. But I paint on paper and usually not much more than an A4 page, maybe an A3. So this will last me a quite a long time. It's very typical Arteza style stuff here. So I, I quite like the, the box. I might skip the the trays though. Um, probably more of a rummage through the box, find what you need kind of person. Oh, where to go? Well, I want to take a couple of colors and move them because yellow ochre and burnt sienna I find belongs over be below amongst the, the earth tones. Crimson, violet. So let's move things. Now it is fit for my head. And um, yeah, let's try some mixes. Out. Or I should maybe make a swatch first. I don't know if I can make a 24 swatch mix swatch here. Yeah. I'll skip the white. Those are nice. There was only one color I wasn't very fond of, and that was that rose color here. I'm actually gonna do something because this it says rose here, and it the color doesn't match. 
what is on the tube so I'm gonna actually paint on the tube see if I can find somewhere see if it will stick because that color there is absolutely no close to what is in there and if this doesn't work I might find a little sticker to put on here that I can paint on I'll figure something out um, but other than that, I think the, the colors are quite nice. Um, I want to try some color mixes. There's some crimson in here, some phthalo. No, not phthalo. Ultramarine blue. Let's see what we can get. Okay. That's kind of a brownish mixture. I'm curious to see what they look like when they dry. I was complaining about paint sticking in my brush to a friend of mine who does oil and acrylics. And she said, squeeze the paint out and then rinse the, the, the brush. You might, you might find that easier. So, here's a, I believe that's a phthalo blue. Try that. Crimson. Oh, that gives a very nice blackish blue. That goes that could pass as an Indian throne blue. Amazing. Like that. So on this warm yellow here. <laughs> That is now full of blue because I didn't get enough paint out of my brush. And this is red. Still gives quite a bright orangey type of color. I could mix in some of the orange here. I think they cover quite nicely. I have seen people complain about the coverage, but they paint it on canvas and that might make a difference. For me, I am going to stick with painting on paper. Um, not that I dislike canvas or anything, I uh, just like how acrylics work on paper. Plus, I can, I can do pretty much what I want on paper. If you paint on... Um, on canvas you have to be careful not to dilute the, the paint with too much uh, water. Uh, if you add too much water it can crack off the uh, of the canvas. But on paper, the paper holds onto the pigments by itself so even you can dilute it quite a lot. Um, so let's try this blue and the burnt sienna that I Paint it all too much. Gives another interesting blackish blue. Let's try and thin that out and see what it looks like. Mm, nice. I can feel like I'll be liking these ones. They got 14 colors you can get in some bags with some more paint. I think it's 120 milliliters. And if I see those on, on sale, I'll definitely get those because I, for my needs for acrylics, this is just great. Um, this will definitely keep me busy for a, a while. I'll be enjoying painting. That was a thalo blue, that was not what I was looking for. Violet. The the colours doesn't match the tubes very well, but um, other than that and I'll find a way around that. Thalo green and dioxazine violet together. 
makes interesting colors. They give kind of some blues on some interesting violets depending on what what dominates. It goes nearly black in acrylic, so that's interesting. Definitely too much of the, the green. There we go. Let's add some water to mix it. I got a white here. That's a uh, Vallejo Studio, but that should work just fine with this. Just to show more of what the colors look like. For, for my needs, these are, are great. Um, I'm not quite ready for full artistic uh, acrylics, heavy body stuff. But this these student paint that are kind of medium flow, I am definitely enjoying. I've been playing around a little bit. Um, I got some other things and I might make a comparison video. I need to go shopping a little bit. So um, this will be fun. And this is kind of spurred by all the gouache stuff I've been playing around with. I That gave me, spurred the interest to, to try acrylics again. I tried a couple of three years ago and I was not there yet for acrylics. Um, I didn't want to invest the money and I didn't invest enough time in it either. I was more into colored pencils. But um, as time goes by, I, I want to paint more and more than I want to draw. So um, there's a freedom to painting that I, I miss in just the straight drawing. and. Um, I get quicker, finished quicker with, with paintings than I do with drawings. Um, of course uh, there's a drawing at the base of each painting, but um, this, there, this, yeah, the, the colored pencils are okay, but I guess I'm a painter more than a color. color color pencil artist that's what I'm trying to get to this cerulean blue kind of makes me think of kingfishers maybe I should try and paint a kingfisher because I tried to make a kingfisher with colored pencils and that was incredibly difficult because of all the light little blobs on which is not blobs but it's feathers on its head and um, that I had to kind of draw around because my colors were not opaque enough for me to to put the light highlights on that head on afterwards but I could maybe paint it mm. this is quite quite nice I might have to buy a retarder because I don't paint fast enough and my paints dry up there before I get to them, or a stay wet palette or something. That that's maybe what was my biggest problem with with acrylics in the first place was I was I was too slow, so things dried on me. 
and I just never bought the retarder. But um, I should because I, I quite like how how the paintings look, and I want to get better at it. I definitely is not unhappy with this um, set of, of paints. That uh, that's for sure. I know they are not professional paints. Um, some of the people I've seen complain about them is uh, saying things like, "Oh, I like the golden paints better," and I can perfectly understand that because golden is a high-end brand and they're super, super good. But they also almost cost the same per tube as this whole set cost. So sometimes I think we have to be careful what what we compare. Um, in terms of art supplies. If you want something that paints like a, a professional paint, go buy a, a professional paint instead of of trying to, to get cheap paints to do what um, what the, the professional paints do. I'm going to try that orange again because um, I messed that up with blue. And that is now, the paint underneath is now Dry. So I'll see how well it covers a darker color as well. The red is definitely very dominant. I think I picked up some blue, or is it? No, it shines through. Well, that covered well enough if you are careful with your brush strokes. Should maybe have another layer after it dries if I want it to cover completely. Yes, absolutely, yes, 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 yes. I, I'm gonna enjoy this. From as I said, for my needs, I am a newbie in acrylics. I paint on paper, and um, I'm not afraid of mixing my colors. There's 60 colors, uh, you can get a huge 60 color set, but there's only 14 of them, I believe you can get open stock, but I'm not entirely sure if they got the tubes open stock as well. I've seen the, the, the bag paints that you can get 14 of those open stock. Um, so, uh, yes, for beginners and hobbyists and, and people who don't want to pay for too much of for their paints. Now the Life Fastness it has three pluses, and I watched other people complain about this because they say it's the ASTM uh, standard, and then three is the worst light fastness but I think that's kind of weird how you can mess up some very stable pigments like um, this is a phthalo green and this is a dioxetine violet uh, I don't know how you can get them to to be so bad in, in light fastness uh, as they're marked so I'm not sure that their marking is accustomed to the, the sta that standard. Might be they have been tested uh, for it. Many other paints use three stars or three pluses as the best light fastness. So um, yeah, they all got three pluses as far as I can tell. Um, no, there's an orange here that is two. And I think that actually as far as I can tell, it's, it's fairly stable pigments they have used for, for this paint. So, um, and like all the earth tones, they are made with very stable pigments. And they are, how can you mess that up? I don't think they did. Um, the stuff that is dry. dry to touch is quite shiny that might be a little bit of an issue um, if you see but I got some matting matte fluid here 
from golden, so I could mix that in to mad it down. So my first impression is this is going to be a lot of fun and I want to go and do a painting with it. So um, I'll see you later, gators.